John Trevor Product Video Training Series. Uh, what I want to show for you guys is one of the other uh, modules that we do manufacture here. We do set up for you is the GPP Connect line. Uh, we have a couple of Wi Fi modules, one a th WF300, which goes about 300 feet uh, pretty regularly, and then we have the WF015. 15 feet without a problem. You know, you can get, receive the signals outside of those ranges, but eh, sometimes it's not as, uh, depending on where you are too, because you could be in a, uh, um, a building where you're just not looking, it's not looking good for you. You know, a lot of noise, a lot of uh, equipment rooms and stuff like that, which is which are very difficult. So this one here is already in installed and we're gonna show you how, uh, very, very simple. It does come pre-manufactured from the factory. Uh, and it will broadcast a GTP Connect signal. So when you're looking through your Wi-Fi and you're looking through your browser uh, to change it or to connect to it with a with your Wi-Fi signals, you'll see GTP Connect, and then we'll give you the model number and stuff like that. We individually uh, yeah, that way we can also trace uh, um, passwords and serial numbers. So uh, we're going to come in here. We're going to look at the inside of it. Sorry, I dropped out because I didn't put my Velcro on it. And I could have put my Velcro on it and then I kept it in there. But so I got a little GTP module. Now the bigger one or the 300 foot, this is the, the 015. The 300 footer is much bigger. It has to mount on the wall next to it. So we do have to have the Ethernet port right here. We can give you these cables. Uh, and then you, of course, have to have power for it. Now we've landed power on the front USB, which isn't great, for, especially for um, outdoor use. Uh, but in this case, we're just uh, doing a demo. If it's indoor, this is going to be completely uh, acceptable. Uh, or we have a separate one that has a different power cord, which you can land here on the back panel uh, to, to um, get power for it. So uh, in this case, we can always turn it like so. See, it's right inside there. No one will even know it's there. Uh, if you, especially if you have the internal wiring, this wire isn't sticking off the front of it. Uh, and already it's broadcasting. So the next thing that we do need to do uh, is we need to create a small little uh, connection between the Wi-Fi, which has its own IP address, and this controller, which has a factory uh, preset IP address. So if I go into the configure, I'm gonna go into the ethernet settings, uh, and typically I'm gonna put in uh, I already I already uh, set this one 10, uh, 0, 100, and 101 is the factory setting for this. Uh, and then it has another 10, 0, 100 uh, number down here under the gateway. So what we need to do, uh, DCHP, doesn't matter, is change the controller IP address. The modules uh, have a standard, 19, uh, 198, uh, I'm sorry, 192.168.0. Uh, and the little module is typically like 254, where what we want to do is we're going to create a little network between the two. So we want to take here, we're going to go 192, 168, 0, and then we can literally have any number that we want. Just as long as we remember it and we use that when we go to connect to it on our, on our handhelds or on the thing. Now, if the customer wants to connect it to their uh, local area network they'll get involved in here we're just going to give it a number so that we can access it with our handhelds or with our computer uh, the net mask doesn't matter but the gateway you want to make it something similar to it 192.168.0 and I put in a 7 again doesn't really matter much all we want to do is create a network between the two between the little router or the little Wi-Fi module there and the controller once you've done that, you can call it up on yours and see the rest of this video so you can see how it interacts with your computer. And we're back to the controller. John Schumer Product Video Training. We're going to show the connection on a computer to the GTP Connect. Now, either Wi Fi that you have for it, it will connect the same way. Uh, and we've given the uh, controller an IP address. So, what you need to do here is connect. And right here is our, our Wi-Fi signal coming off of our controller. We're going to hit the connect. That's going to check my network settings and requirements. Uh, it does have a, um, uh, a password, and the password will be given to you for each one of them. It's all different. Uh, it is a factory hard-coded 
uh, password book. It can be shut off if you wanted to, and if you don't want to, if you want to remember it. Once you connect to the, the first time you put in the password, it, your computer should remember it for you. So uh, really shouldn't have any problems after that. Um, okay, so now it says no internet, not a problem. Uh, it's not really what we want to do. Although we're going to open an Internet Explorer, uh, the, the connection is between the two as a network, not over the Internet. Uh, this is a local area connection. So and right now we're going to put in the uh, IP address that we've given the controller. And it could be anything. You guys can change it if you want. And then you get your controller login, uh, which is, I'm sorry, I almost did that wrong, admin and three and four fives. That's the uh, standard uh, controller login uh, from the factory. So now you can see that we're into it and we're going to do all the things that we need to. You can do your home, your alarms, you can check your inputs, your outputs, you can turn things on and off uh, remotely. A couple of things that you won't be able to do would be like uh, calibrations or software upgrades. They do want you there at it. Uh, the one big thing that I do want you to see here uh, is the graphs. The graphs on the tablet mode or on the uh, Ethernet port much better than the graphs that you see on the uh, uh, screen on the on the home page. Uh, it is of course it's a custom backlit screen but it is uh, limited to characters and, and pixels and stuff like that. So uh, if we can get in here to the configuration or to the graphs just give me a couple of seconds here It does give you all the readings of them on offs, uh, the retransmit, the AL, the analog outputs, today's date. It does give you the alarms up here in the corner, connectivity, pH, gives you the last readings of the readings currently, the flow meter, gallons, uh, cycles. Um, of course, it's going to take a sweet time uh, getting to that, huh? I have to grasp one more time, see if I can't get that to initialize. There it goes. So. Uh, currently, there's only the uh, the alarm that's on here, and that's about it. Okay, but you can see here it lets you configure it. So I'm going to put connectivity over here. I'm going to put pH over here. I'm going to put the flow switch over here. I'm going to put uh, cycles because we did set up cycles on this machine, uh, and I'm going to hit the refresh. Uh, and what it's going to do, and you can see here now that the connectivity, all those things are on there. Okay, there's the pH, uh, there's the flow switch, here's the cycles, uh, stuff like that. And you can see the cycles and, and pH are actually opposite each other because it cycles, but I put back on a pH meter. But what you see with this is that when you're tracking it, you can see how the connectivity was in that same area, or if we go down, uh, put what's on the screen that's that's important to you because it'll it'll help you with tracking that information. You can see it goes straight up through all of them, and you know, if you have the two or three that's most important to you, it'll do that. Uh, it'll also let you change the uh, time frame if you want to look at the last six hours. Uh, make sure that you hit your refresh, and there you'll be in your last six hours. Okay, guys, um, that's how that works. It is much more intuitive on, on screen here than it was before. Very nice. It does give you min-max average too, which is really, really a kind of cool thing that you can see right there, min-max and average uh, for the connectivity. Nice stuff.